what is up guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video what i'll be doing is going over some tips you can use to get zero ping or at least lower your ping by a notable amount in fortnite these tips are going to include some specific optimizations you can make on your device to some ping improvements you can utilize while you're actually playing and i'm even going to be showing you guys an app that you can use to basically route your connections and improve your ping even further we've got quite a bit to cover in this video so i'll be trying to go through these fairly quickly with that said guys if you go on to enjoy this video be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be covering is probably one of the most effective things you can do to improve your ping, and that's to use a wired connection. If you don't know by now, using a wireless connection, aka Wi-Fi instead of a wire, makes it really easy for your connection to cut in and out and often raises your ping since everything you do essentially has to fly through the air to reach your router and be sent to the Fortnite servers. Using an Ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi is one of the easiest ways to lower your ping drastically and really doesn't take a lot of work to set up. All you've got to do is order an ethernet cable, preferably a category 6 or above, which you can find on Amazon or in most electronic stores. Then you go ahead and plug the cable from your router into your console or PC and then you're all set. For most players, this will lower your ping a notable amount and just make your game flow a lot smoother overall. As a side note, if you're completely unable to get a wired connection for any reason, then my second best recommendation is to simply move your device as close to your router as possible. That way your connection doesn't have to travel quite as far, but if you're able to get a wired connection, I'd absolutely recommend that you do it as this is one of the most effective things you can do in order to get lower ping very fast. Another quick thing you can do to potentially improve your ping if you're on PC is to perform a virus scan. If you have any sort of malware on your device, there's a good chance it can slow down your connection and make your game perform a lot worse overall, both in terms of ping and FPS. It's a fairly rare occurrence, but it still is something worth checking for. In order to do a virus scan, I recommend that you download the software Malwarebytes and simply perform the free virus scan that they offer. Overall, it's completely free to do, so there's really not much downside to it, and since it only takes a few minutes, a virus scan is definitely something I recommend doing just to be on the safe side. Another really useful tip I have which PC players can utilize is to use third-party software to lower your ping. On PC, there are certain programs that you can actually buy which essentially route your connection in a more efficient way, allowing you to get less lag and lower ping overall. Personally, I recommend the software no ping as it's very reasonably priced and it helps a lot with your ping. Personally, it lowers mine about 5 to 10, but some of you might even see more of a difference like 10 to 20 depending on where you live and how your connection is routed. That being said, if you want to check out NoPing, I'm going to put an affiliate link at the top of the description so you can get a free trial of the program as well when you sign up. It's absolutely free to try out so you can give the program a shot and see how much it helps. Another super quick thing you can do to potentially improve your ping is to just make sure all of your wiring is done properly. This might sound a bit pointless at first, but you'd be really surprised how much of a difference this can actually make. In the past, there was a period of time where my packet loss was constantly going up and down, my ping was also far from optimal. I tried to make a bunch of adjustments and stuff, but nothing seemed to actually fix it. That was until I literally went over to my router, unplugged the cable from the wall, and basically just screwed it back in. And literally, I'm not even joking, right then and there, my ping and packet loss problems completely went away. With that said, I strongly recommend, especially if you're having issues with packet loss or general lag, that you simply make sure all of your cables on your router are properly in and connected well, as this can really have a surprising large impact on your connection just like it did for mine. Moving on from that though, the next tip I have is probably going to be more of a last resort type of option, but that's to consider upgrading your internet if you have the budget for it and find it worth doing. If you're really struggling to get the best ping you can get in Fortnite, then there's a good chance that your internet speed could be holding you back. If you take the game very seriously and find it to be worth your money, then it's worth considering whether you might want to purchase a faster internet package. Obviously, this largely depends on your situation and it won't be possible for everyone, but I wanted to bring this up anyway. Once once again though, I don't recommend resorting to a full internet upgrade until you've tried each tip in this video though, as it obviously costs a lot of money and it might be very inconvenient. With that said guys, now that we've gone over some of the major adjustments you can make on your device itself, the next thing I want to do is mention a few little tricks you can use while you're actually playing in order to improve your ping and make sure you're getting optimal performance. And the first of these tips is going to be a fairly simple one, but one that so many people don't do for some reason, and that's closing other apps that are using up your network. Apps like Spotify, Netflix, and YouTube running in the background can easily raise your ping by a notable amount when you play. And unless you're watching a Teco video, of course, then I'd recommend closing out YouTube and any other apps you're not actively using, as they can take up a lot of your bandwidth and raise your ping while you're playing. Another tip that's kind of similar to this is to avoid using a lot of bandwidth on other devices as well. For example, if your whole family is on one internet connection and you're trying to play while someone in the other room is watching Netflix, then that's going to impact your performance. Now, obviously, it's not realistic to just, well, kick everyone else off your Wi-Fi, but if you have any other way 
way to limit the usage of other devices while you play, then that could make a difference in your ping as well. Even something like your phone can make a difference, or like if you're watching TV on the side or something like that. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Another very quick tip is to make sure you're on the Fortnite server that's closest to your location. For some reason, a lot of players actually connect to the wrong server entirely, which, as you might expect, raises their ping by quite a notable amount. To check, all you've got to do is head into your settings in Fortnite and make sure the matchmaking region is set to the one closest to you, or if you don't know which one is closest to you, then just set it to auto and the game is going to do it for you. It seems like an obvious tip at first, but a surprisingly large amount of people actually use the wrong region when they play, so it's worth checking just to be sure. Moving on from that though, the final tip I have to improve your ping if you continue to have issues and think it might be a problem with your actual internet equipment, is to contact your internet service provider. Sometimes you can have a damaged router or modem that might actually result in a lot of packet loss, high ping, or general lag. As a last resort, you can consider reaching out to your internet service provider and seeing if there's any issues on their end, and sometimes they could even come and repair your equipment or explain to you how you can actually fix your problem. So if you continue to have noticeable issues after trying the tips in this video, then it may be worth reaching out and seeing what they can do to help you out. With that said guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on how you can drastically lower your ping in Fortnite. Hopefully this video helped you out to optimize your internet connection and lower your ping as much as possible. I tried to cover all the most realistic and proper methods to lower your ping and decided not to show any overly fancy settings or network things because those really don't make as much of a difference. So the tips that we've discussed in this video should be some of the most effective ways that you can lower your ping by a notable amount. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. That way you're notified whenever a new video comes out. With that said though, thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.